Hello and welcome to Edu Sathi's lecture on eligibility criteria. Now in this topic there is no concept as such and it's a very easy topic. So all you need to do in this topic is to have a good approach to solving questions. So this approach is what we will be talking about in this lecture with the help of an example. So we'll have a big question and then small questions that follow that detail and then I'll tell you how to approach these kind of questions. So what is eligibility criteria? Checking the necessary qualifications for eligibility. Now in these type of questions you'll have some information like you see on the screen. We'll read this information first. So directions for questions, the questions will follow in the coming slides. Read the following information carefully and then answer the questions given below it. Following are the conditions for allotment of flats. Now this is the condition like uh, this is the final result that you are going to allot flats to people built by the town council in the newly developed area, area of the city Gurgaon. The applicant must produce a domicile certificate be employed or self-employed in Gurgaon for a minimum of 5 years, be ready to pay the entire amount in 5 years period, not be the owner or co-owner, like co-owner is when your spouse is the owner of a residential accommodation in the city limit of Gurgaon, not be less than 35 years of age as on 31st December 1996. In case the applicant who satisfies all the other criteria except A above, A means this one above, that he is not able to produce a domicile certificate of the state, then you the applicant should be referred to the president of the town council. If he is satisfied all criteria except B above but is ready to produce ration card of 5 years, then the applicant should be referred to the vice chairman of the house allotment committee and if C is an exception like all the other conditions are met but C here this one is not met like he is not ready to pay the entire amount in 5 years period but that person is a freedom fighter or an ex serviceman or, or a first relation. Now what is a first relation it is mentioned here son, daughter, husband or wife of the freedom fighter or ex serviceman should be referred to the vice chairman of the house allotment committee who can give concession as per payment up to 15 years in such cases. The last date for the receipt of application is 31 December 1996. Conditions set out in terms of age or during duration of stay are to be fulfilled as on 31st December 1996. It means that this 35 years as it's mentioned here should be before the application date and minimum 5 years should be before this application date of 31st December 1996. Based on these criteria and information provided below, decide the course of action in each case. You are not to assume anything extra, so do not assume anything. If the data provided is not adequate to decide the course of action, your answer will be data inadequate. Okay, so now all these cases are given to you as of 1st January 1997. So what should your approach be? Now in this kind of questions after reading this information you will have at least 5 to 6 questions to answer. Now what you need to do is formulate all this information in a tabular form. You will just have to do it once. So you will spend roughly around 4 to 5 minutes in reading this information and forming the table. So once you form the table, all the questions would be a piece of cake and you will be able to solve them very easily. So in the next slide, I have drawn this table and we will begin with the first question. So let me read out the table to you first. So I have requirements here and the course of action. So these are the five conditions which need to be met. Producing domicile, self-employed or employed for a minimum of five years, repayment should be in five years, then no prior ownership or co-ownership and not less than 35 years of age on 31st December 1996. So that means that the person should be born before January 1960. Okay, so now if this condition is not met, 
if this condition is not met so i put a cross here then you have to refer the case to the president of the town council if this condition is not met then you have to refer to the vice chairman if and only if the person is ready with the ration card of 5 years now this repayment in 5 years if this condition is not met but the person is in first relation of freedom fighter this ff is for freedom fighter refer to the vice chairman who can give concession up to 15 years so once you form this kind of a table all the questions you can easily solve just by looking at this table so all the information which was given to me is now in a compact way put up in this table so let's read the question here I'll just change the ink color. So I use the blue color. Indrajit Lal is a young businessman, domicile of the state, who was born and brought up in Gurgaon. So domicile of the state, this condition is true. He can pay the entire amount in less than three years. So if he can pay in three years, definitely he can pay in five years. He has opened his shop on his 26th birthday. That is on 23rd Feb 1989. So by 19... 96 he was definitely employed for a minimum of five years he stays with his father but is not having any ownership rights in the house owned by his father so no prior ownership or co-ownership now the only condition we have to check is whether he is less than 35 years of age as of 31st december 1996 so if his 26th birthday was in 1989 definitely he was less than 35 years at 19 during the year 1996 so since this condition is not met you will not allot him a flat so see it becomes very easy i just keep tick marking the answers uh, the conditions that are met by the question and then i can easily mark the right answer now in the examination you will not draw table more than once so you can use different signs for example i use tick marks for the first question i can use a star for the second question so that I know that this condi these conditions have already been met. I can use a circle for the third question here and then I can use a dot with a circle. So you can form different symbols so that you don't get confused that uh, which question are you actually finding these conditions for. So let's move on to the next question. R.C. Bhargav is a son of an industrialist and from other state who has set his factory in 1990 and has a domicile certificate of the state. So whether he is from a different state does not matter until and unless this condition is met that he has the domicile certificate of this state. And he has set his factory in 1990 so definitely he is employed for minimum of 5 years by the time of 1996. He is ready to pay the entire amount in 4 years so repayment in 5 years is good. He does not own a house in Gurgaon, but his wife owns a flat in Gurgaon. So this condition is not met here. He has a co-ownership, which means his spouse is the owner of a house. So I would not go any further. And what is the right answer that I will not allow him, allot him a flat. Let's move on to the next question. Mrs. Gauri Datta, aged 45 years, is the wife of an ex-serviceman. She has been staying in a rented house in Gurgaon for the last 10 years. She has a certificate of domicile of the state, so this is okay. She is employed for 7 years, so this is also okay. She is ready to pay the entire amount in 10 years. So this is a question mark here. No prior ownership, co-ownership. Because she is saying a rented house, it means she does not have an ownership. And since she is 45 years of age, so this condition is also met. So I am only to check this C condition here. Now she is the wife of an ex-serviceman. So she is in the first relation of a freedom fighter or ex-serviceman. So now what is the right course of action? The only problem is that she cannot repay in 5 years. But since she is in first relation of this ex-serviceman, we will refer her case to the vice chairman who can give concession up to 15 years. So what is my right answer here? Refer to the vice chairman. See, if these two conditions, any of these two conditions are not followed, I don't have a respite for these two conditions here. So it is definitely do not allow a lot of flat or do not allow that person to own a property in Gurgaon. But if these conditions are not, any of these are not met, 
then I will see what course of action needs to be taken. Let's try another question. Miss Reema Mohanty is the daughter of a renowned freedom fighter from another state. She is domiciled in the state. So she is domiciled in the state and is employed in the town council for the last six years. This is also meant she can pay the entire amount in five years. This condition is good. She has completed 34 years as on 10th December 1994. So this condition is also met. If she is 34 years on 10th December 1994, it means she will be 5, 35 on 10th December 1995. So this is a good condition. I want her to be above 35 by December 1996. So she will be already 36 by that time. She does not own a house in Gurgaon. So no prior ownership is also there. All these conditions have been fulfilled. So I will allot a flat to her. Now see, I will not refer to the vice chairman here because she can do the payment in five years. Had it been here that she can only pay in six years, then I would refer to the vice chairman. But if these conditions are being followed straight away, I will allot the flat. Let's look at the next question. Magan Lal is 38 years old, senior clerk in the local office, local builder's office in Gurgaon. So he is 38 years, this condition is already met. He has put 13 years but still does not own a house in Gurgaon. So he is employed for more than 5 years and has no prior ownership. He has produced a domicile certificate, so this condition is true and is ready to pay the entire amount in 8 years. Now this condition is not met. He is willing to pay in 8 years. He is the nephew of the freedom fighter Jagannath who stays in a nearby village. Now, he is the nephew, not the son or husband or wife. And nephew is not a first relation as it is mentioned in the question. First relation mentioned here is only son, wife and husband. So nephew is not a first relation. So this condition does not hold true. So I will not a lot of flat to Maganal. Let's try this next question. Mrs. Divya Lahiri, a domicile of the state and a married woman of 36 years. So this condition is true and this condition is true. Has been running a beauty parlor in the city since 4th March 1992. So this condition is not to here she has not been employed for a minimum of five years her husband is employed in a nearby city but both of them do not own a house in Gurgaon so this is okay she can pay the entire amount in five years so this condition is also okay now I have only doubt in this second condition so what is the course of action is the person ready with a ration card of five years then you refer to the vice chairman now there is nothing mentioned about the ration card here so I cannot make a decision. I cannot say a lot of flat. I cannot say do not a lot of flat. So what is the right option here that the data is inadequate since nothing is mentioned about the ration card. Let's try this next question. Shamim Hassan is an ex serviceman who is a native of Gurgaon. So this is okay. He stays in a rented house and is working as a security officer in a factory for the past two years after his retirement from the army at the age of 35 years. So he's definitely older than 35 years. He has a ration card in issued to him recently. Now this condition is a problem here again because he's employed for only two years in Gurgaon. Let's read further. He's ready to pay the entire amount in five years. So this is okay. And since he stays in a rented house, so he has no prior ownership or ownership now we've mentioned here that he has a ration card issued to him recently now I don't know whether the ration card is for five years or not it is not mentioned clearly here so what is the right course of action here that the data is inadequate to solve this 